I was actually loath to ever buy another GoPro again. After my 8 becoming completely erratic, my 9 becoming glitchy, um, not knowing if it's gonna record, the slow lag time of uh, pressing the button and missing shots, um, I didn't want to buy another GoPro. I was hoping DJI was gonna put out an Osmo 2 that was awesome. Uh, they just went crazy and put out some block modular thing that I have no desire to own. They had made a GoPro cl clone that was awesome. And everyone, I think, was hoping they would make another GoPro clone that would be even better. Because my DJI drones and DJI in general, they update firmware. Every product they put out so far has always been way better than the one before. Then all of a sudden, they put out this weird ass product. So I started watching the reviews of the GoPro 10 from people I trust and they've just been talking about how this new chip actually makes it work so much better. So, so far so good and let's hope that that's the way it stays. Um, like I said, I was excited when I got the 8 and 9 and over time I became totally disappointed. That it's not an image quality thing, it's not a stabilization thing, they're the best in the game when they work. But the frustration of trying to make videos and just having your equipment not work is sometimes too much to bear. So please, please, <laughs> I hope this GoPro just works. <laughs> So I will, I will say right off the rip, first impressions are good. The GoPro starts up so much faster than the 9 did. Um, all GoPros, basically, if you do it for the quick capture, you just press the record button. You'll see the screen pop off, then it'll go black, then it'll do whatever it was doing you, that you had it doing last. Um, in my case, it's almost always the 24 frames a second wide lens 4K. Um, but yeah, much, much quicker on this. Uh, also tried the voice control, super responsive, and also the touchscreen. I had accidentally locked my uh, shutter into 1 48th like I would on my pro cameras. Well, I can't do that on the GoPro because it's way too bright out for that today. So I stopped, took off a glove, and I was able to navigate the touchscreens finally without touching it 10 times to get one thing to happen. So first impression's good, but you know, I also thought that about the eight and nine when they were new. So only time will tell if this um, turned out to be the GoPro that everyone has been waiting for. All right, moving along okay right now. So let's see how the microphones work. GoPros have been pretty good with the mics for a while, even in the wind, um, when you're talking. It's been since the five where they first started, I think, really implemented that multiple mic technology. At first they sounded really weird, but I've had some decent luck with the eight and the nine talking while I'm riding my bike. El ritmo. Yes, So yeah, that was just some straight out of camera footage, uh, 24 frames a second, 4K, the natural color setting, and the lens I think was always on wide. So uh, no real judgment on the video yet, but like I said, impressed with the responsiveness finally. So let's hope it stays that way. The thing that I can say I'm really impressed with already is the photos. I took a few photos, they're 23 megapixels. When I shot in RAW, um, plenty of room to crop. Um, I could push the colors around, the saturation. Uh, really impressed. This is finally going to replace the iPhone for photos when I'm out and about in the daylight or during the day. So that's good news. You know, usually it was just more worthwhile to shoot with my phone and have the stuff already posted. These I can actually edit. So first impressions, more coming. Uh, see you in the next one.